Hello guys, I'm Ollie Pierce. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I get going, be sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Now let's get this sexy mother over here. Come on, Chris. All right, my channel is fun, you see, we can swear. <laughs> so, Chris is really muscly. Why is he wearing this piece of shit for a start, right? So anyway, today we are shooting Chris's online dating profile and we're gonna be doing a bit of styling to give him a few new outfits to make that dating profile pop off. So that's another service I do for my clients. I shoot online dating profiles for Tinder, Match.com, Hinge, whatnot. We're all on them. I'm on three or four of those websites at the moment. I'm getting hella dates. He's not getting any because of this kind of shirt. Just kidding, but the styling is a massive thing. So first we're gonna choose, change the styling, get him a few new looks, do a bit of shopping, then we're gonna go out there and we're gonna shoot Chris's dating profile. We're gonna make it absolutely Gambino. It's gonna look incredible. He's gonna get a shitload of dates. How's that sound? Good. Good. That's Chris, right? Get ready for the impact and the change of the fashion already. But before we do that, let's have a look at what he's using for his online dating profile right about now. Cool, that was our one. See the different tones, the different channels. Our one we just can't. Okay, so the first picture we've got Chris here. First thing I see is the resolution is terrible. Um, poor camera, poor quality, poor subject, basically. You know, if you have a low quality camera, the pictures are low quality. It, interprets a lot about your life then too his expression is just too similar to that of the ancient artifact behind him just looks ridiculous um, highlighting a bad expression as well the similarity of the smile making his nose look massive as well because it looks like the artifact also he just, just doesn't look good in this his jaw looks huge it's far too close up the clothes are also not very cool looking it's just a bad picture in general all right next here he looks like a Victorian drunk out of Oliver Twist or something. Um, the pipe, the hat, really, really terrible. Literally looks like an alcoholic. Doesn't fit in well, the jacket. I guess it's meant to be a fun outfit, but you can hardly tell that. And the backing of this kind of shitty looking pub he's in, the wallpaper really just has the vibe of a, an old alcoholic from a bygone era. Terrible picture. Next. So finally, we've got him being outshined by a waxwork of Daniel Craig. First things first, don't have a better looking, better dressed, taller waxwork in your pictures. Um, most of the girls are gonna fancy that waxwork more than him. Two, the styling is badly done. Chris is in great shape. He actually looks a bit chubby here because the top's too tight and too long. The top's also terrible, as is the white top on top of the shirt. Styling's just all off. Facial expression is probably the best in this picture, but also doing him no justice. So again, yeah, another bad picture there. Okay, all right, so Chris is back with our first look. Let's call this our autumnal gentleman, English gentleman look, right? So what have we gone for? We've gone for the roll neck, the turtleneck, the cable neck, whatever you want to call it, jumper. It's a thick knit. You can see it's got some sort of detail on it and it's a nice thick, warm jumper. It is obviously fall, autumn, whatever, winter here in the UK. Then on top, we've got this tweed overcoat. It's got a very sort of minor check on it. It's a really beautiful jacket and it's got that really, really high-end gentleman feel, especially when combined with the roll neck jumper. The blue goes very nicely with the sort of mixture of green, beigey, orangey tweed colors got a real London look there and it's a very smart casual look you could wear this in the daytime out to lunch you could wear this to work if you've got a casual dress code or you could definitely wear this to a bar out on a date for dinner this look says it all so this is why it's going to work so well for Chris's online dating profile as well because it signifies a high-end successful professional mature man but who is also cool, is aware of his fashion, how to dress smart casual, and knows what's going on in a place like London. This style is in, it's funky, it's current, which says a lot about him and what kind of man he is. Okay, and that brings me on to a good point there, right? Even though I'm shooting these pictures professionally, obviously I'm gonna shoot them on professional equipment, I'm gonna edit them with professional equipment, I'm also a professional stylist, using my knowledge in fashion to style him professionally, and I'm a professional model, and I'm gonna help him to pose a professional guidance. The key to these shoots is that they don't look professional. Okay, so we are back with Chris, and this is rock and roll Chris, badass Chris. You feeling badass, Chris? He's feeling bad. 
All right, good. That's what we like to hear. So let's have a look at what Chris is wearing. We have got a pair of imitation aviators. That's what Ray-Ban makes, our aviators. These aren't actually Chris's. These are a pair which we use in the studio for shoots, but I'm gonna recommend Chris get some perfect to his face in this style. It goes with the look perfectly. Let's move on down. We've kept Chris's little medallion chain jewelry thing. I like that. It's got some hippie vibes and I think it's cool. I also like Chris's tap popping out and that is why we've gone for this scoop neck t-shirt. If he was wearing a normal round neck t-shirt, you wouldn't see that bit of tattoo detail there. So we've gone to All Saints, where this is from, and got a scoop neck tee, scoop neck. On top of it, we've got the plain black denim shirt. All right, super in right now. It looks very badass, very rock and roll, and it goes with the whole outfit. Note how we've rolled the sleeves up to show off Chris's ridiculously muscular forearms and these, this bit of jewelry we've given him. So let's have a look at your hand there, Chris. Other side, we've got the black ring, black and silver, onyx ring, and then we've got the, the accessories, also black and silver, going nicely with the rock and roll look. And let's have a look at Chris's watch. That's his own watch, which again is black and silver. And going down into another silver ring we've put on there. Let's go over and have a look at Chris's belt. Just pull that over on the right hand side. Yeah, look at this cool belt, my favorite belt. Again, a rock and roll belt, more silver metal mixed in with leather, going with all the accessories. So let's have a look now at his hand and his belt together. Look how cool that looks. All right, that's working nicely. Now we've hand down the legs and we've got a pair of super skinny black jeans with rips in the knees. All right, finally, we have the black Chelsea boots. So this is our second look for Chris's new wardrobe, right? And this is the rock and roll look, badass. All right, cool. Okay, Grease Lightning. All right, he's back. So here's Chris, he's looking rock and roll as fuck. I absolutely love it, it's working. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. We've got a plain black hoodie, it's the cheap one from H&M. Over that we have got the vintage rock and roll leather jacket all right this is the piece de resistance this is the main bit of the look i got this in a vintage shop in a vintage leather shop in east london which is this sort of fashion district here and we hooked that up for chris it looks great note the little cord coming around like a belt right that's really cool and all the metal details and stuff all very cool so the next element we've added in is this leather bag all right, let's have a look at that, Chris. Do you want to show him that? All right, so this leather man bag, it's these bags you hold in your arm, down by your side, like some legendary tough assassin slash fashion guy slash gym guy. So this is the only bag you should have. If you're carrying a sports rucksack or a briefcase, that's a big no-no. This is a cool, trendy, fashionable man's bag. So we've got this leather one to go in with the outfit. So let's have one more look at Chris then. That is Chris's rock and roll street look. All right, looking wicked, let's go. Okay guys, thank you. That is the end of part one. Get ready for part two when we're gonna be actually out on the street shooting, okay? That's the meat of the series, the locations, the posing, and how we're gonna actually do the real breakdown, the styling's done. Part two coming very soon, stay tuned.